11 minutes to nine. This is BBC Surrey. Southwest Surrey is being plagued by carpet munching moths. Can you believe it? Apparently so. Apparently the cold weather that we've been having over summer has encouraged people to keep their heating on, which has caused the moths who live in our homes to proliferate and munch their way through the contents of our wardrobes. What can be done about it? We will find out very shortly here on BBC Surrey Breakfast Programme and I have some apocalyptic news for you. We're in the midst of a moth invasion. Experts say the cold-ish weather this summer is partly to blame for an epidemic which is hitting Guildford and Godalming particularly hard. How do we know this? Because computer experts have developed a high-tech map showing the location and frequency of moth attacks. Graham Warren is a moth expert. Graham, this, this does sound rather apocalyptic. What's going on? Good morning. I think that's a very apt description. Nick, last year and this year, we have officially had a pandemic of moths um, across the country, but primarily in the south and particularly in the region that you're in. Uh, There's no particular reason for it. There's no one single reason. It's a combination of factors. It's partly global warming. It's partly the fact that most of us, if not all of us, have got more clothes than we've ever had before. (laughs) So we tend not to... There's a big food supply going. Well, (laughs) possibly. We tend not to wear the same garments as often so they don't get disturbed in the wardrobe and, and the moths thrive the larvae, that uh, it's the larvae that hatch, it's them that make all the holes in the garments, when you close the doors of the wardrobe they thrive in dark and undisturbed places so. And are these specific sorts of moths or is it just yes, all moths are. in general? No, we've it's got... the cloth-eating ones. Well, we've got three types of moths that are all causing different problems. The most common and prevalent one is the clothes moth, and then we have a carpet moth. There's more people having um, carpet moths this year than we've ever seen before. And then there's the food moth that tends to go for cereals and rice and flour and things, but the clothes moth is the most common one. And it's uh, the residents of South West Surrey that are among the most moth-eaten in the country? Sadly, this is true, and moths only go for the things that we like the most, which are natural fibres, the cottons and the silks, and all the things that we treasure the most. So you're never going to get a moth problem in Primark, for instance? Unlikely. <laughs> what, what can be done about all this? Because, I mean, I imagine that... Um, I mean, I, well, I'll give you an example. I was out in uh, my garden yesterday looking at the amount of uh, creepy crawlies that are currently um, eating my roses to bits. The caterpillars are eating all the leaves. I've got red fly and green fly. And I thought, should I take steps to get rid of them or should I just leave them because they're a natural part of the ecosystem? I imagine that, that moths are a natural part of the ecosystem and that birds rather like them. Um, well, moths, moths are solitary. They come generally on their own. They don't swarm like wasps and bees etc and they tend to be in the house and as i say they thrive on dark and undisturbed places i'm not aware that they're eaten by other creatures but there are two types of moth in all the different types of moth that we have that are eating most of the garments and we've got a whole range on our website of carousel direct whereby we can offer assistance and help with different remedies for the different type of moth that you may have i see so unless you're running an aviary inside your house you might want to uh chemical assistance f- uh, of some description to, to help you with the problem? Well, ke- chemicals is the ultimate degree. We're, we're not there. We're, we're on things that are non-toxic and non-carcinogenic, so easy to use for children and pets, etc. I mean, the chemicals would be the full sort of fumigation thing. We're not into that. Good to hear from Most, you, Greg. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. I, I, sorry to interrupt, but I've just looked at the time. I was enjoying our conversation so much, I didn't realise we've only got 10 <laughs> seconds left. So I best right. go. Graham, good to speak to you. Thank you very much. Graham Warren, a moth expert.